Ever pondered who could pose a threat to the mighty Megalodon, the biggest predatory shark that ever lived? In the primordial oceans one creature stood as a formidable adversary to the Megalodon, the Liviathan. Megalodon with its unmatched size and ferocity, dominated the ancient oceans. This colossal predator, spanning up to 60 feet in length, was a true leviathan of its time. Its jaws could exert an astounding bite force enough to crush a small car, and its teeth, reaching up to 7 inches in length, could rip through the toughest of prey. However, even the mighty Megalodon had its rivals. Enter the Liviathan, a prehistoric whale named after the biblical sea monster. This was no ordinary whale. The Liviathan was a behemoth in its own right. Growing up to 57 feet long, Liviathan was slightly smaller than the Megalodon, but what it lacked in size, it made up for in brute force and weaponry. Its skull alone measured almost 10 feet housing a set of teeth that were a staggering 14 inches long, the largest of any known animal past or present. This ancient behemoth was not just a passive giant, the Liviathan was a predator using its massive teeth to hunt and devour large prey. Its powerful jaws could generate an immense bite force, rivaling that of the Megalodon. While the Megalodon was a stealthy hunter, preferring to ambush its prey from below, the Liviathan relied on its brute force. It would charge at its prey, using its size and speed to its advantage, making it a formidable opponent for the Megalodon. The Liviathan's massive size, combined with its powerful jaws and large teeth, made it a force to be reckoned with. This was not a creature the Megalodon could easily overpower. The battles between these two prehistoric titans must have been a sight to behold, a test of strength and endurance. The ocean was indeed a battleground when these two titans clashed. Moving on, ever imagined a showdown between the Megalodon and today's largest predator, the sperm whale? Now let's delve into the depths of this fascinating encounter. The sperm whale, with its gargantuan size, was quite the formidable opponent for the Megalodon. Adult males can reach lengths of up to 60 feet, with their heads accounting for a third of their total body length. That's a lot of whale to contend with. But size isn't everything in the marine world. Sperm whales are equipped with a unique weapon, a form of sonar called echolocation. They emit powerful ultrasonic clicks that can stun or even kill prey. Imagine the Megalodon, a creature used to being the hunter, suddenly becoming the hunted, disoriented by these sonic waves. Moreover, sperm whales are not solitary creatures. They live in pods with complex social structures. If a megalodon were to attack one member, it would likely have to face the wrath of the entire pod. This group defense strategy could potentially overwhelm even the mighty megalodon. Also, let's not forget the sperm whale's giant conical teeth, some of the largest in the world, which could inflict severe damage on a megalodon. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? In this underwater clash of titans, the sperm whale certainly had its own set of tools to challenge the mighty megalodon. The sperm whale, a formidable adversary indeed. What happens when megalodon meets its own kind on steroids, the giant sharks? Well, consider the prehistoric seascape a colosseum, and the competing gladiators, the giant sharks of the megalodon's era. These titanic fish were not just a mirror image of megalodon in size and strength. They brought an intriguing twist to the survival game, they hunted in packs. This pack mentality was a significant advantage, turning the tables on the solitary megalodon. Picture a lone warrior facing off against a well-coordinated army. The odds are clearly not in favor of the lone one. Among these giant sharks, the Otodus obliquus deserves a special mention. This shark was a precursor to the megalodon and is believed to have hunted in packs, making it a formidable foe. Their teamwork could corner a megalodon, leaving it with little room to maneuver. But it wasn't just about numbers. These giant sharks were equipped with rows of serrated, razor-sharp teeth, perfect for tearing into the flesh of their prey. A single bite could deliver a devastating blow, but imagine the damage inflicted by a swarm of these ferocious predators. Megalodon surely had its work cut out for it in these high-stakes encounters. Sibling rivalry was undoubtedly intense in prehistoric oceans. Indeed, the ocean's blue waves hit a world of red and tooth and claw beneath. Now, what about the colossal marine reptiles like Pliosaurus and Mosasaurus? These formidable sea beasts were no pushovers. With lengths reaching up to 50 feet, they were a force to reckon within the marine world. Their sharp claws and powerful jaws were capable of delivering a deadly bite, making them significant competitors in Megalodon's hunting grounds. The Pliosaurus, often referred to as the T-Rex of the sea, was an apex predator in its own right. Its four large paddle-like limbs made it a swift swimmer, able to chase down prey with surprising speed. And its jaw, 
Well, it was capable of a bite force that could rival that of the Megalodon itself. Then we have the Mosasaurus, another marine reptile that shared the waters with the Megalodon. Longer than a school bus with a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth, the Mosasaurus was a formidable predator. It had a flexible jaw that allowed it to swallow its prey whole, much like a snake. These marine reptiles were more than just contenders, they were rivals in the truest sense. Their size, strength and predatory skills put them on a level playing field with the Megalodon, leading to some of the most epic underwater battles the world has ever seen. The competition was fierce when these marine monsters roamed the seas. How would the Megalodon fare against the unexpected threat of giant squids? Now that's a question that sparks curiosity. Let's dive into this intriguing matchup and explore how the mighty Megalodon would handle these underwater phantoms. Giant squids with their massive size and startling abilities were no easy prey. These deep-sea dwellers could reach up to 59 feet in length with arms armed with suckers lined with small sharp teeth. This allowed them to latch onto their prey with an iron grip, making escape nearly impossible. But it wasn't just their size and grip that made them formidable. Giant squids also boasted one of nature's most astounding adaptations, the ability to camouflage. This chameleonic talent allowed them to blend seamlessly with their surroundings, launching surprise attacks or evading predators with ease. And let's not forget about their trademark defense mechanism, their ink. When threatened, giant squids could release a cloud of dark ink, not only obscuring vision but also containing substances harmful and potentially deadly to predators. Facing such an adversary, the Megalodon would certainly have its work cut out. It would need to rely on its strength, speed and razor-sharp teeth to overcome the squid's defensive tactics and seize it as a meal. The seas were full of surprises and the giant squids were certainly one of them. Their unique adaptations and defensive strategies made them a remarkable challenge even for the mighty Megalodon. Finally, the Megalodon had to face the most relentless enemy of all, nature itself. Even for a creature as formidable as the Megalodon, the merciless laws of the wild posed significant challenges. The first of these challenges was food scarcity. A full-grown megalodon could reach lengths of up to 60 feet and weigh as much as 50 tons. To sustain such a massive body the megalodon had an insatiable appetite needing to consume approximately one ton of food per day. Imagine that, a daily feast equivalent to gobbling up a small car. However, finding such immense amounts of food was not always easy. Overfishing by other predators, climate change and shifting migratory patterns of prey could lead to periods of severe food scarcity. And for the Megalodon, no food meant no energy to hunt or defend itself, making it vulnerable to attacks and eventually leading to starvation. The second significant challenge was disease. Like all living creatures Megalodons were not immune to illness. Parasites, infections, injuries from battles all could take a toll on their health. And in the wild, a sick or weakened animal quickly becomes a target for others. Moreover, being at the top of the food chain, megalodons had no natural healers. When they fell ill, they had to rely on their body's natural healing abilities. And if these failed, even a minor ailment could prove fatal. Lastly, megalodons also face threats from environmental changes. Climate change, for instance, could lead to the cooling of oceans, making them inhospitable for the warm-blooded megalodon. Similarly, a rise in sea levels could disrupt their breeding grounds, making reproduction difficult. In the end, no matter how mighty, every creature is bound by the laws of nature. Even the Megalodon, the greatest marine predator that ever lived, could not escape these laws. The scarcity of food, the threat of disease, and the changing environment all played a part in its eventual demise. Even the mighty Megalodon had to bow down to the unforgiving laws of nature,